There you go in there, fellas. Here we go. We've got the deeds brewing. Quiet deeds. Juice train. Six and a half percent. That got me in. They had three of theirs there. I had one before. But uh, out of the three of them, this is the first one I grabbed because it was the highest alcohol. And it wasn't the most expensive, believe it or not. I don't know the, how that works sometimes. No, I do. Probably put a bit more work into the other one. But uh, I'll try that next time. Alright, so a juice train. Looks like someone has chipped some orange juice in there or something. Cheers. Actually, not too bad. Big mouthfuls of flavour. Huge. What are we talking? Grapefruit. Fruit. A little bit of backbone sweetness. Um, yeah, pretty well balanced up. Wouldn't want to have half a dozen of them, though. A bit of a concoction, I reckon. It's... Like a bit of a reaction going on there. Flavours are, ooh, intense. What are they reckon about it? Our New England IPA is a beer with a soft and silky mouthfeel that is purposefully hazy from the use of oats. Slow in bitterness, but packed full of hops. In fact, more hops than we've ever used before. All of which were added in the whirlpool and during fermentation. The result is a beer that is super juicy and full of tropical flavors. Well, that's actually really good. Amarillo, hops, citra, Simcoe, galaxy, malt, pale wheat and oats, style New England Indian powwow. Well, I thought it was gonna be something with fruit added to it, but those, that massive amount of hops is just made it into a fruit shake. I disagree with them a little bit. It's not... Wow. When you talk about tropical fruits, there's so many different ones. And then we've got some really wicked uh, temperate fruits. So uh, it's hard to... Oh, I'm just getting a few temperate fruit, fruit flavours in there as well. Apricots and uh, grapefruit. Tropical, a little bit of pineapple in there, maybe. Yeah, it's real fruity. The uh, hops has really blown it away. You put shitloads in there. Well, get out there and try this one, boys. The juice train. Whew. I thought it had orange juice in it. Yeah, I've had some beers and I didn't know. And then you read the label and it says it got orange juice in it. I was thinking this one might have something in it. Just by the look of it. More than anything, and the name Juice Train. But it's a Hops Juice Train. What a fucking ripper. Loving it. Might be in for a bit of rain in the next couple of hours. We've got a cyclone pushing a big rain belt just north of Melbourne at the moment. And the other cyclone breaking up above it, trying to push it down. It's cruel. It's like the rain's going around Melbourne all year. It's wicked. Oh well, fingers crossed we'll get a downpour. Kick these chilies into action. I've got, I don't know, I've got about 40 chili plants going at the moment. In all different stages. But uh, yeah, they're starting to fruit pretty wildly at the moment. So it's good to see. We just need a bit of rain and I'll go crazy. Alright, I'll leave it with that. Cheers everyone, the Quiet Deeds Juice Train, that's a ripper.